Hello everyone, my name is Nicholas Torrance. I'm Vice President at the Swiss Legal Tech Association. So for this uh, SLTA talk, I thought we could explore additional income streams, um, inc opportunities for lawyers on how to better tailor their services to their clients' needs. So that would help them to develop a competitive advantage. So, but before we go into more detail, I'd like to give you a few benefits that it would bring to the firm to do that. So first, it would steer your firm closer to regular businesses, and therefore it would lead your firm to operate with more in line with modern standards. Second, the client needs to be given more importance in your firm's business model. Third, your firm will pay more attention to market trends and ensure that it's up to date and that its offers are really tailored to what the clients want. All right, so, now let's discuss what kind of additional services law firms can offer to their clients and create new income streams. So first, let's talk about security. So in essence, law firms should protect client data adequately, we all know that, but some clients are more sensitive to risk than others. So they may require more security than the minimum level. That is a service you can charge for. You could offer a higher standard of security to these clients against payment of a fee. Of course, it will cost you more, but then you create your margin so that it's beneficial for you. Second, subscriptions. So you could offer your clients a discount on your hourly rate if they purchase a subscription from you. So you could also offer subscription for packaged services, for example, contract reviews, letters, uh, compliance checks, and so on. But the idea is really that you want to give them a benefit in exchange for paying you on a regular basis. That's good for your cash flow. Third, think about special advisors. It's a general practice in the industry that only lawyers work on cases with the occasional help of experts, such as accountants or, uh, or physicians, to clarify technical aspects of a case. My suggestion is that we can broaden the scope of professionals involved so that we can create a more substantive added value. For example, psychologists. When you're negotiating a contract or you're identifying the scope for a settlement and bringing the parties to that settlement, that can be difficult. Uh, you can enhance that with the assistance of a psychologist or with an expert negotiator who knows how to use psychology to bring your parties where they need to be. Likewise, when you're dealing with a bad faith counterpart, using psychology, uh, you can bring that counterpart to the negotiation table and to a reasonable settlement. This would, of course, be a cooperation with the lawyers, because you need to make sure that anything that is written or said remains in line with the legal strategy. Think about, second point, intelligence or data analysts. So these profiles can help generate strategic information from the data that they collect online, so that would be an intelligence analyst, or from data sets such as financial records, that could be a data analyst. This can increase the strength of the client's position in the negotiations. Likewise, these analysts uh, can use legal tech tools such as jury metry to audit the tribunal and the case law before deciding on the legal strategy. That can give you an edge and the clients are sometimes willing to pay for that. Fourth, think about customer accounts. One of the client's number one concern is the difficulty to get regular case updates. So creating a customer account, which allows the client to get regular updates, share documents with their lawyers, is a service some would pay for. And finally, creating service tier levels. To be more effective in serving your clients, you can better adapt your offer to, your pro to the client's profile. So for example, you can agree with the client that only the strongest arguments will be presented to the court, or that only the main business risks will be addressed in a contract, just to avoid spiking the costs. Should the client wish to cover more grounds, well, the lawyer can move to a more expensive service, a higher tier. And note that jury metry can really help you in that case, because if you know what the most effective argument is in front of a specific court, then you are legally covered for making that argument. 
All right, so these were a few ideas for lawyers on how to expand their income streams, better tailor their offer to their clients' needs, and develop a competitive edge. We all offer the same services, so it makes sense to find a way to differentiate ourselves from each other. So feel free to reach out on LinkedIn if you'd like to discuss. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye now.